Hey everybody, uh, didn't do a whole lot of prep work on this video, and believe it or not, I do do a little prep work on these. That shows you how bad they would be without that. But um, this is the one about Star Wars. Okay, um, I can't believe so many people get upset about this. I, I really can't. I've, I've had disagreements with friends over politics, and I've had disagreements with friends over religion. I mean, things that people really should take seriously, one way or the other, don't care. But when I have people get that upset with me, when I tell them that I have never, nor will I ever watch Star Wars, they lose their mind. Absolutely lose their mind. Um, it's to the point now where I, I won't do it out of spite, just because people, oh, that movie will change your life. Will it? Will will that movie change my life? If watching any movie changes your life, you've got a pretty sad life to begin with. But the fact, how seriously these people t take this, just, I honestly can't say it's a bad movie because I've never seen it. You know, oh, you never heard of Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker? Of course I have because I'm not a pop culture idiot. So I know the characters. I know who the heck. I've sold some of the figures on eBay. So yeah, I know who the characters are, but I have no intention of watching. I wouldn't watch that movie if Harrison Ford came to my house. I I don't know. I probably still wouldn't. I, I hadn't thought about that until I said that. I mean, if you guys want to get that excited about some intergalactic space incest because I guess the brother and sister Luke and Leia kiss... A little weird. If you want to defend that, that's okay. But don't come up to me and go, hey, you shouldn't make fun of me because let me tell you what I know about Star Wars. When it's in the theater, if you go down to the 12th row and sit in the 6th seat from the end, yeah, dummy, that's why I'm making fun of Star Wars people like you. You defending your point is the reason that I make fun of that. So... I, I can't say that I've ever seen it. Don't care that I ever intend to. Don't send me all your messages. Oh, you got to watch it. You got to watch it. Nope. It's not going to happen. The closest I've ever came is when um, I was snowed in in a condo in Dayton, a comedy condo in Dayton. About 10 inches of snow. Couldn't go anywhere. I was going to be there for two days. Uh, the other comic was there and knocked out uh, all the cable and everything. And in the bedroom I was staying in, I found a VCR, and the bedroom he was staying in, he found the six-disc thing of uh, Star Wars, the six-tape thing. It wasn't a disc. It was a tape. And he said, okay. He said, here. And I was beat down after about 36 hours of being in a condo in Dayton, which will do it to you. Um, I said, fine. I'll watch him. He said, yeah, but we have to start with part four. I'm out. You're not going <laughs> to... You're not going to get me to watch a series starting with part four. I don't care what chronological, I don't care before somebody explains to me why I have to. If I had try to hook somebody on Rocky, we're not going to start in Russia where he's fighting Drago. We're, that's not the way it works. So I'm not going to watch it. I will tell you that it almost got me kicked out of a uh, comic book festival. I was in Canada one time, and the guy I was with was really into comic books, and we had to go watch and he wanted me to take him to this comic book festival. So I did that. So I walk into the Star Trek, and I know the difference between Star Trek and Star Wars. And I walk into the Star Trek booth, and I asked him, like, hey, do you have any Darth Vader figures? And he didn't find that clever at all. Which, once again, goes to my point about how seriously you guys take this. It's unreal. But anyway, that's my big thing on Star Wars. Never seen it. Don't intend to. Uh, subscribe to this. Share it with everybody. Let's see how many people I can get mad at me about Star Wars. Talk to you guys later. See ya.